Have you ever felt like there's a bit of chemistry between you and your romantic partner? Well, that's because there is. When we find ourselves attracted to another person, it changes the balance of chemicals in our brains. One of these is a neurotransmitter, or signaling molecule, called serotonin. Serotonin helps regulate our moods, and low levels of serotonin can result in anxiety, insomnia, and obsessive behavior. When we first fall in love, our levels of serotonin can drop, which might explain why we feel anxious and think obsessively about our new crush. But don't worry, stay with that person long enough and those serotonin levels bounce back to normal. Dopamine, another neurotransmitter, increases when we start to feel a romantic attraction. It's a chemical that's associated with regions of our brain that deal with reward and pleasure, and it motivates us to pursue pleasurable experiences, like finding a partner and feeling desired. Falling in love can also leave you feeling, well, a bit high. When we fall in love, our brains produce another neurotransmitter called phenylethylamine, or PEA. PEA is a chemical that acts as a stimulant. It gives you those feelings of infatuation and is responsible for the natural high of falling in love. Attraction and lust are one thing, but how do our brains make sure we stay in love? Our hormones have something to do with it. Vasopressin is a hormone that's best known for its role in regulating the production of urine, which is less romantic, but it also seems to be produced in the brain after we have intimate relations. It creates a desire to stay with that person and develop an emotional attachment. Long-term relationships also increase our levels of oxytocin, a neurotransmitter often referred to as the love hormone. Oxytocin influences our social interactions and promotes feelings of well-being and love. We release oxytocin in response to human contact, like cuddling, hugging and kissing, and it helps us to feel content and secure in our relationships. Why are our brains so well wired to make us fall in love? It's about survival. Not survival as individuals, but survival as a species. Falling in love and bonding with a mate increases the chances you'll reproduce and pass on your genes to future generations. Got someone special in your life? Why not share this with them? And don't forget to like and subscribe.